So your mind is made up. You thought about it long and hard and now you decided to take your tattoo journey even further and now you want to get a sleeve tattoo. First of all, congratulations. Sleeve tattoos are awesome. But I also want to say that this is a huge decision you are making. You want to make sure that you're building a sleeve tattoo the right way to ensure the best sleeve possible and also know that you're gonna love this sleeve way down the road. Way down the road, okay, let's roll with it. But anyway, how do you do that? So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the two best strategies to build a sleeve tattoo. Not only to make it flow beautifully, but to make it look awesome so it's something that you love for all time. This video is gonna be jammed packed with sleeve building information, so you are not gonna wanna miss it. But hey, if you have a roundabout idea of what type of sleeve tattoo you plan on getting, leave a comment below and share it to not only me, but the rest of the Evolve community. We all love to hear it. Anyway, welcome back or welcome to Mainly Man TV. My name's Mike and on this channel I help educate you in the realm of tattoos. So if that's the kind of stuff you're looking for, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell notification just so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so the first strategy when building a sleeve tattoo is for the people that want something like what I like to call a sentimental value sleeve, like my black and gray sleeve, for example. It's a bunch of different designs that don't necessarily revolve around one theme, but each design has some sort of sentimental value to me, creating the sleeve as a whole. And also this strategy is great for the people that don't really have a bunch of money to fork out for a sleeve tattoo all at once. And also this strategy is great for people that don't know really how to make the tattoo sleeve flow. Having a sleeve tattoo where each individual design comes together as one flowing beautifully to create one full piece of art is key to a sleeve tattoo, hands down. So the first thing that you really need to do, and I recommend you getting like a notepad or something to write down everything, and that is to know exactly what you want to incorporate in your sleeve tattoo. I'm talking about what colors you want, or do you want to go black and gray, what style of tattooing you want the whole sleeve to be like, and most importantly, the images and designs that you want to incorporate in that sleeve tattoo. Now you might be saying, Mike, I don't know the specifics right now. I just want to get a damn sleeve tattoo. Now it's okay if you don't know everything. It takes time to think all this stuff over, but you don't want to rush it. You need to make sure that you know exactly what you want before getting under that needle. Because once it's tattooed on you, you really can't change it. But it's okay, you have all the time in the world. There's no need to rush. I know that we want to get our sleeve tattoos done, but you need to make sure you know exactly what you want to incorporate it. Because next thing you know, if you don't think it through, you're gonna get something that you just don't love. And then it defeats the whole purpose of you wanting to get a sleeve. Okay, so let's say you have everything figured out now. Well, well, mostly everything figured out. You know the colors, you know the style of tattooing you want, and you also thought some awesome designs that you're 100% about. Well, then you can technically go and schedule your tattoo appointment. I personally never recommend to schedule a tattoo appointment if you are not 100% knowing what you're going in for that tattoo appointment for, because you don't wanna waste the tattoo artist's time because their schedule are just super busy nowadays. Now the next part about this strategy is that after scheduling your tattoo appointment, I recommend you immediately send over your first design that you want to incorporate in your sleeve to your tattoo artist. In that email, be sure to give your tattoo artist the specifics of where you want that first design to lay on your arm. Like, do you wanna start your sleeve on the forearm or on the bicep? And also what colors you want to incorporate in it. And also, I always recommend to let your tattoo artist be a tattoo artist. Let them take the design that you really love, but make sure that you allow them to have some freedom with it, to come up with a brand new design or take your design that you gave to them and 10X it. It always works out to me and I always love what they come up with more than the original design. So just think, think about that. Give it some time for them to work on it. You don't wanna rush the process, but once you get that design, you're ready to start your sleeve. For my first sleeve tattoo that you see right here, my strategy was to go piece by piece. 
This strategy is completely different from the second strategy that I'm gonna share that I'm doing for my other sleeve tattoo. The reason why I decided to build my sleeve tattoo using the first strategy, this one we're talking about right now, is it saved me a bunch of money. When I was younger, starting my sleeve at around 19, 20 years old, I didn't have a lot of money to fork out for a tattoo. So going the piece by piece strategy, I was getting full blown tattoos on my arm that weren't incomplete, but it just didn't form a sleeve at the time. It was almost like a patchwork kind of sleeve with just big designs everywhere. It allowed me to treat myself to a tattoo to add to my sleeve once per year. And in the meantime, throughout that year, any extra money that I could put towards the tattoo it allowed me to save so I wasn't spending a boatload of money all at once in the first couple months just to get my sleeve completed. I had an itch on my face. And the second reason on why I did this strategy for my first sleeve tattoo is because, well, I really didn't know exactly how I wanted the sleeve to look. I knew what I wanted to incorporate in it, but I couldn't really picture it in my head. So going step by step, I would talk to my tattoo artist for a lengthy process to come up with a design that I actually love and then a look that I really wanted. So I would give my tattoo artist the design, he would 10X that design by putting his own creative swing on things, and then also tell me where that would lay best on my arm to look good in the sleeve tattoo. Remember, certain designs, certain pieces that you wanna add to your body, or in this case, a sleeve, lay better than others. Tell your tattoo artist where you want this to be around about, and they'll either say, yeah, that's okay, that will fit perfectly there, or no, this is weird because your muscles or whatever, it doesn't lay right on your arm. So keep that in mind as well. But anyway, once you have all those pieces on your arm in the positions that you want and they're tattooed on you, then you and your tattoo artist can brainstorm about how you want to connect the tattoos on a design and a way and a theme that you are really gonna love. That's what I did and I couldn't be more happier with my first sleeve. Even though you may not know how you want to connect the sleeve as a whole, Professional tattoo artists, they construct sleeve tattoos all the time. So they have an eye on how to do so. So just go off of what they have to say. But remember, if you don't like something that they come up with, be sure to speak up. But hey, I just want to let you know real quick that all of the Evolve by Manly Man TV merch is going to be 20% off starting today. This is going to be going on till August 30th, so be sure to click the link in the description or you'll see my shirts right down below. You can pick one up, grab some nifty merch, and most of all, it helps support the channel, so I couldn't thank you enough. And don't forget, be sure to use the promo code EVOLVE20 to get your 20% off at checkout. And again, Thanks for the support. Now let's get on the strategy number two. Okay, so strategy number two on how to build a sleeve tattoo usually works best for the people that have an all around theme of their sleeve, like my Dragon Ball Z theme, for example. Now probably the most important part about this strategy is to schedule a tattoo consultation and a lengthy one, in my opinion. And that is because, I mean, a lot of people, they'll usually just go to the tattoo shop and say, hey, I want this, this is becoming a sleeve, or they will just email them like I did in strategy number one, which works, but I think it's always good to just be up close and personal with the tattoo artist, let them know exactly what you want. When you're calling your tattoo shop to schedule that tattoo consultation, make sure you specify that you're going to the tattoo consultation in regards of building a sleeve tattoo, just so they know. This is super important because even though you should be bringing everything that you want to incorporate in your sleeve, like your notes, pictures, and all that stuff, letting your tattoo artist know ahead of time they're going to get prepared to build a sleeve tattoo as well. It just gets them in the right mindset. Once you get to your tattoo consultation, be sure to lay everything on the table for your tattoo artist. Let them know what you like, what you don't like, your thoughts, just literally everything. Because trust me, once you start telling your tattoo artist everything that you want in the sleeve, they're gonna get inspired and inspiration is just gonna start flowing out of their head and they're gonna come up with ideas. It will most likely not only take the images that you brought with you, but also go online and look for images as well. And while they are doing this, you should be with them. Don't feel like you're stepping on your artist's toes, remember, it's going on your body. While you guys are scrolling, be sure to pick out the images that you really like and that stand out to you. And of course, there's gonna be some that you may not even think or like or see, but your tattoo artist might 
take them to the side and say, listen, this will look good for the type of sleeve that you want to get. Okay, so after you and your tattoo artist settle on all the designs, what most professional tattoo artists do nowadays is take all those images that you want to incorporate in your sleeve and start creating the sleeve right there in front of you during the tattoo consultation. Now they'll be doing this on Photoshop on either their computer or their tablet, but as weird as it may sound, Tattoo artists usually have a bunch of stock photos of different body parts of all different shapes and sizes to go off of to create that sleeve. They will usually pick the one that is most identical to your arm size. This is so they could actually see how it's all gonna lay out on your arm, putting all these images and it's, it's actually pretty freaking cool when they do it right in front of you, which most of the time they will to get your input on it because remember, it's a team effort. This is what we did for my second sleeve tattoo. And this is so awesome because you can see your future sleeve tattoo come to life and see everything of how it's gonna lay out. And seeing it just being brought to life, ugh, got me so excited. Once you have a sleeve that you 100% love, your artist will save it and now not only you, but your tattoo artist knows how everything is gonna fit flow and look later on. And now they could better prepare for each session. They aren't going in blind, super important. Another reason why I love this strategy on building a sleeve tattoo is because say for example, a few months down the line, you're having second thoughts on a specific part of that sleeve that you guys created earlier. Well, since it's already saved on your tattoo artist's tablet or computer, you can easily just message your artist or call them or whatever and say, hey, listen, I wanna change this area up a little bit and I'm thinking about this. And you guys, again, could come up with a new idea that you are gonna love. I did this, it's okay to have second thoughts and you're not bothering your tattoo artist. It's their job, they want you to be happy and that makes them happy. I'm just firing on all cylinders today. Another pro tip for you guys is once you have everything planned out for your sleeve, before leaving that tattoo consultation, be sure to make a bunch of different appointments if you can, because let's face it, tattoo artists, they book out so quick nowadays and it's hard to get into the tattoo shop. Seriously, take it from me. So once you're there, try to schedule as many sessions as possible to complete your sleeve. If you can't make them, just be sure to give a nice week or two notice to your tattoo artist so they can reschedule. But it's always best to schedule it first instead of waiting, trust me. After picking one of these two strategies and you have your sleeve tattoo built, you're probably wondering how much this thing is gonna cost you. Well, you're in luck. You wanna check out this video right here on how much your sleeve tattoo is going to cost you. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification just so you don't miss future videos. And I will see you in the next video, so peace.